The Trump campaign calling for additional presidential debates and for them to start much earlier than proposed by the debate commission. Now, they want to start these debates in September. Former President Trump putting out this message to President Biden on Truth Social yesterday. Watch. It's time for Crooked Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of the United States, and I to debate. We have to talk about what he's doing and where we're going. We owe it to our country. We owe it to all Americans. Anytime, anywhere, any place. Mr. President, Donald Trump is ready to debate you right now. Do you accept? <laughs> If I were him, I would want to debate me, too, was Joe Biden's answer. A Fox News poll finds two-thirds of voters think it is important that Biden and Trump have a debate. Joe, if we're going to see the first presidential debate between these two in September, that's awfully close to the election, and some people may actually have voted already. Well, we, we have the projected numbers, and this is exactly why it's important. By the first debate, a million people would vote. By the second debate, three million people are go. likely to vote. And by the third debate, nine million people are likely to vote. So, I mean, the Democrats pushed early voting. They're the ones who have wanted this for generations, even. <laughs> right, uh, right. Now we have this. Now you got to live up to it. You know, Joe Biden, it's pretty clear why he wouldn't want to debate Donald Trump, not just his own cognition issues, but because because his presidency has been indefensible up to this point. They had the advantage of the pandemic, of the whole world. The only person who probably benefited um, the most from the pandemic is Joe Biden because he got to hide in his basement for the year while he ran for president. That's not an option this year. And the American public demand our two candidates for president have this sort of sparring out uh, and discussing the problems. Uh, I, I also think a, a big part of this is that they're seeing how the American public is starting to react to the, po the policies under Joe Biden. Uh, another morning show on, on a left-leaning network had a panel the other day with nine people, nine diverse people demographically, geographically. Uh, all of these people, unanimous, nine people on the show raised their hand and they said Donald Trump's policies were better for America than Joe Biden's. The yeah. Democrats cannot risk having this be exposed on the stage with a guy as he gums his ice cream uh, coming out of the store as we just saw him. I, I saw that, and I'm sure that the hosts uh, were just, you know, taken aback when all nine of those people said Trump's policies are better. But, you know, Cheryl, has Joe Biden ever even been on Fox News? I mean, huh. I sat down with President Trump in January for an hour and a half. We sat there. I threw questions at him over and over and over again for an hour and a half. He sat there, and he took my questions, and he answered every one of them. Would President Biden be able to do that? And has he ever given an interview as president to Fox News? Uh, as far as I'm aware, uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm now, looking back, I'm like, Martha no, and sure Brad, <laughs> I think, well, they have done, they've done town halls. I don't know that Joe yeah. Biden was part of it. Well, Joe, what, I mean, this is obvious. The strategy that worked for them in 2020 is the one that they're leaning on now because mm -hmm. there's been so much media attention. And actually, many media outlets have focused on uh, kind of the, the, the fitness, the mental fitness of the current president and his mental acuity and just, you know, or his age. So, look, and I know that age can be different depending on, you know, who you are. But at the same time, Maria, I think what's, what's interesting, too, is that you know, for the first time during the GOP primary, you know, you would always see all the candidates come out in the debate, and, and Donald Trump came out and said, I'm not going to debate uh, in the GOP primary. I don't have to debate. I'm not going to want to debate. I think that might hurt him now, because then Biden's coming back around and saying, well, oh, you don't think debates are important? I'm not going to debate you. And that could help Joe Biden if he's not on the debate stage against Donald Trump. I mean, the one thing I will say about this election versus others in our past is that we know these two candidates very well, and we do know what they're about, and we know what we're going to get. And I think a lot of folks are probably, to Joe's point, they've already made up their minds. And it's, I know it's only uh, the spring, but, uh, you know, those, and those undecideds, I realize, are still chasing the undecided voters. Uh, but, but we know these two candidates very well, Maria. Yeah, but Cheryl, the idea that we're not going to have a debate mano a mano, one-on-one, -on -one, until September, you just heard how many people will have voted by then. Joe right. has all the numbers. That's not fair to the American people. I, I, I agree with you on that point. I, I just, it just seems to that the rhetoric that we're seeing from the Biden campaign in the White House that uh, he's not yeah. interested. It's, well, Chris, it's, how, about, yeah. how about this one? Because Joe Biden, obviously, 
you know, the age is an issue, the mental capacity is an issue. So a lot of people feel like a vote for Joe Biden is a vote for Kamala Harris. So do we know what we're getting there? Here's the vice president yesterday with the prime minister of Japan. Watch this. Secretary Blinken mentioned that the prime minister made reference in his presentation to the joint session of the Flintstones. Many of us will remember the cartoon. I thought it was particularly poignant when he said, but he's not sure how to translate yabba dabba doo. <laughs> uh, Chris, your reaction? Cognitive ability matters, right? It matters. And, and the president matters and the vice president. But I'm not sure that people have more confidence. I'm sure they don't have more confidence in the vice president. That type of, uh, that type of, uh, uh, comment. Yabba dabba just, do. Yeah, it just yeah. it doesn't bode confidence. I had something interesting. My mom said to me the other day. She said, she said she feels that the cognitive ability of the president may be an issue in the in the in the election. It is an issue for her in the election. And I think what's happening is I think people have made up their mind. But any one of those debates brought forward is going to change things dramatically. And that's why they're trying to duck it so much. But uh, right. yabba dabba do is. Uh, Deeply troubling, Maria. Mm, I don't know. I, I think that was maybe an ad lib, I, I, or maybe they put it in her script.